episode of Minecraft Enchanted Oasis. My name is Cupquake and I am super duper excited for season two of Oasis. So uh, before I get started, I wanted to just clear every anything up for you guys. I released the trailer and I think some of you guys were confused thinking that this is going to be a pure multiplayer um, series, which it's not. So I'm going to just go ahead and start doing the basics while I go ahead and talk to you guys about this stuff. Hopefully we don't run into any monsters because I am not prepared. Uh, so, uh, Enchanted Oasis is a collaborative Minecraft series between myself and three other girls. Those girls being Midimox, LD, Shadow Lady, and Vengelf. So, um, we all discovered this magical oasis um, different ways. So I actually found this oasis within my oasis and uh, walked through a magical waterfall, which is right over there. And that's actually where I'm going to build my home. So um, you guys can find out the different ways how each and every other girl discovered. We all have unique stories and uh, we are planning to have, I'm gonna make a sword. Oh, not a shovel, a sword, just in case, cause you never know. Um, so we all uh, have different angles on this series and uh, which is gonna make it pretty unique because everyone's story is going to be different. So it's not going to all be the same. Uh, we are all going to coexist on this server together. So it is kind of a semi multiplayer, but not completely, not completely multiplayer. Uh, you know what, why is this taking so long? Let's just use my hand. I feel like, uh, my hand is faster. Just gather some more wood. Um, so if you guys want to check out their stories, head over to their channels. Uh, head over to their channels. Their their uh, link will be in the description. And uh, you guys can see everyone's perspective. So we're just going to coexist. We may record together. Uh, most likely we are definitely going to record together. But for the majority, I am going to play single player. Um, there's just something about Minecraft single player um, that I find so appealing. It's just one on one, you and me. Uh, so I know some of you guys were upset about that and thinking that this was going to be purely multiplayer. It's not. So just to get that clear. All right. So also, I'm going to go ahead and list off some of the mods that we have installed that we created for this. And before I do that, I wanted to thank um, Willabama Boy and Nova, who are a boyfriend girlfriend team who actually created um, Minecraft Comes Alive. And without them, this would not be possible because they actually created the mod pack for us. They put all the mods together. You know what? I think I may just kill some cows so I can get some food. Sorry guys, sorry guys, I don't wanna die on the first episode. So I'm gonna go, uh, since my house is gonna be right here, I'm gonna, I decided I'm gonna make a tree house. <laughs> so we're gonna have a little tree house. I'm a little forest nymph, by the way. Um, uh, again, I have antlers and elf ears, which I think is adorable. So I am just a little forest nymph living in a magical world. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying, I'm going to create a little mining area right here. Oh my gosh, what is that noise? I don't know what some of these things are, so please, um, bear with me. This is going to be a learning process for both you and I. We have so many mods installed in here. Uh, but yeah, thank you again to, uh, Willabama Boy and Nova, uh, who created Minecraft Comes Alive. This would not be possible without them. We wouldn't have the mod pack if it wasn't for them. And actually, um, they created a mod 
special to this series. So we have something totally unique that uh, no one else has as of yet. We will make it public, but it was a collaboration between them two and myself. I really wanted something magical and foresty, so we decided to create a mod called Woodland Creatures. So that's one of the mods that we have. And if we go ahead real quickly, I'll show you the GUI we can press. My hotkey is numlock7. Um, it shows the different antlers. You can enable them, disable them, but we have different antlers available, different types of antlers from different um, creatures. We also have horns available. This is a very early stages, so um, we're still planning on developing this. And we have ears, so elf ears are available for us. Again, these are the really, really, really early stages. We are planning on developing it more. Um, so, oh yes, coal. Thank God. I was like, am I going to run into coal here? Because I really need me some coal so I can make myself some torches. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's one of the mods that we have installed. I'm going to just go ahead and list off all the mods that we have. We have a total of, I believe, 21 mods. So, we have the Woodland Creatures mod, Dynamic Lighting, Ray's Minimap, Magic Fruits, Unique Artifacts, Wings, Thaumatic Tinker mod, uh, Thaumcraft, Butterfly Mania, Ars Magica, Backpacks, Little Blocks, Shaders mod, Grimoire of Gaia, Mr. Crayfish's Furniture mod, Craft Guide, Biomes of Plenty, um, Flower Craft, Timber mod, Twilight Forest, and Witchery. So, um, as you can tell, we have quite a few large mods in here. You know what? Let's just go ahead and upgrade our weapons here. I'm making a tiny, tiny little base. This is not going to be my home, but... Uh, I just need something to... I need to build some protection for the night. So I'm going to make myself a better sword, and we can get rid of that one. And we'll just make ourselves a better pickaxe. I'm not going to bother um, making a new axe. You know what? I'm going to make a door also, because we don't want... Ah! Okay, wait. Before the sun sets... Before the sun sets, I believe it should be setting pretty soon... Uh, oh yeah, it is totally setting. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a little bit more wood. Oh my gosh, I see some creepers in the distance. I see a pink creeper. We see some butterflies flying around. Zombies are already coming after us. So let's get this piece of wood. In order for the timber mod to work, we need, um, we need to get ourselves a iron, uh, iron axe. So that's not gonna work for a while just yet. Okay, so it is nightfall. And I have a safe little home. Yay! We're going to make it past the night. Um, so those are all of the mods that I have installed. If you guys are interested in any of them, I'm going to add them in the description. I am super excited because, well, I know a little bit about Richery. Wait, before I get into this, one more thank you. Uh, I wanted to thank CraftNode for providing the server for us. Uh, again, this we would not have a multiplayer server if it wasn't for them. Uh, they are super nice, very helpful. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in creating a server with your friends. Uh, definitely multiplayer adds a different dynamic to this game, so if you haven't done it yet, definitely do it. Uh, but if you guys are interested in that, they are a great service provider. So um, yeah, check that link out. Thanks guys for uh, hosting our Enchanted Oasis. Okay, so, wait, did the sun set? No. Where'd that zombie go? Where'd that zombie go? Oh, there you are. I feel like now it's starting to set. Yeah, yeah, starting to set. We're going back in our little mine. We're just going to mine away. So, uh, I think with dynamic lighting, um, the torch is actually supposed to light up when I hold it, but... Um, Again, this is the first episode, so always, always, always um, with first episodes of series and everything, it's just us kind of trying to figure out things, uh, figuring out what works, what mods um, conflict with each other, so um, please be patient for the first few episodes. It's a lot of troubleshooting things and um, getting to know, you know how the server side of stuff works. I've never done a multiplayer like this before, which I'm super excited for. I thought it would be just an adorable thing to, 
not, you know, not really be a single player, but, or yeah, not really be a single player, but still have the option to play with people. I think it's going to be amazing. We have so many huge mods in this. I am really, really excited for Ars Magica. I was actually looking a little bit into it. I was checking out Dire Wolf. I was checking out his uh, mod spotlight. He always does such a great job at explaining everything. And actually I learned the witchery mod from him. Um, I still don't know everything about that mod, but witchery mod alone is huge crazy huge there is no way that i'm going to be able to remember everything in that mod so again this is kind of a learning process for me it's a learning process for us so if you guys if you guys know anything about a mod that i'm playing if i seem stuck and ask for your help for something don't be shy i am so open to suggestions and comments i do read the comments um, I, well, most of them. I try to read most of them, but I mean, I, I cannot. It's just impossible for me to read all of them. So if I do miss your comment when you're trying to help, please don't get discouraged. Um, just keep commenting and um, hopefully I will see it. Red is also looking through the comments as well. He's not going to be involved in this series, uh, which I know is you guys are sad. Some of you guys are sad about that. You guys love Red, but we do have our Minecraft Cloud 9 series together. Um, where we just live and do married things. We have a baby. Anyways, uh, yeah, but I am super duper excited for this. I know a lot of you guys have been just commenting day after day. I took, I think it maybe was a two month break from Oasis from the first season. Um, actually got, um, it was a totally different theme than this one. It was more of like a tropical theme, jungle theme, where I had dinosaurs and everything. If you guys haven't seen that first season, I think it went up to 130 episodes. And then after that, I just got kind of tired and finished most of the mods and just needed something new. So that's why I took a little break. And then uh, Minecraft Enchanted Oasis was born. Um, so I am super excited. I actually started to miss posting single player gameplay. I don't know, it's just something about it. It's like you feel more connected to the audience. It's just a mano y mano, or in this case, woman and mano. I don't know how to say woman in Spanish. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna make some... Okay, I need to make another pickaxe. My gosh, if there sounds like there's so many creepy crawlies outside. Um, but yeah, I'm just super excited for this pack of mods that we have. And also, guys, if you guys are watching this and you don't know about the other girls involved, head over to their channels because we are taking different approaches to this. Uh, I think I'm mainly going to focus more on first Ars Magica just because I've never played it before. Uh, I find it super interesting. It's a lot of magical stuff. Um, and I know that I've done a little bit of witchery um, on my other Minecraft series, but uh, Ars Magica is completely new to me. And I know the other girls. None of them have done Twilight Forest, and none of them have done Witchery, so they may be more focused on that. And it's really, really neat because we're all going to have different stories. We all got here a different way. Our stories are all different. So be sure to check them out, show them love and support, and um, yeah, it's going to be so fun. I, we have so, so many cool things in store for when we do actually decide to um, play multiplayer. But I'm excited, and I hope you guys are excited. A lot of you guys were asking, where's Oasis? Where's Oasis? I need my Oasis. Leaving comments after comments on different videos, even on my other channels, leaving comments. I would see them every single day. There wasn't a day that went by that I didn't see comments, which is a good thing uh, to me. It shows that you guys really love the series and you really miss it. But for me as a, as a creator, as a content creator, I had to just take a tiny little step back from it just because 
when I, okay let me just put things into perspective for you guys who are new to the channel and haven't watched the first season um i posted three videos a week one of those videos being um a special video where it's an hour long of gameplay i posted every other day almost three videos a week for over a year for that one single minecraft uh series uh so you can only imagine i mean it only goes so far until someone's just you know work to the ground just like t dead tired of it doesn't even want to hear the name oasis anymore uh but i'm super glad to be back I feel super refreshed and ready to go and just to explore all of these new mods with you guys. Um, I'm just going to say this is going to be a very, very magical series um, based around magic. Uh, I'm going to learn a bunch of different spells. Um, there are different trees that I can build, trees as in uh, I can learn different magic trees and um, all sorts of things. There's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of different mobs that are um, added with all of the mods that we have. Uh, just from Grimoire, Grimoire of Gaia, I hope I'm saying that right. Just from that mod alone, um, there are a ton of really, really, really adorable and really scary mobs that have different, different difficulty levels. You know what? I should make a furnace. Because we needs to, we need to start cooking. We are good. We're doing good for the first episode. The first episode is really just me establishing myself and trying to survive the night. Um, this playthrough is definitely going to be harder. It's going to be harder than the last because we have more monsters, more mobs, and actually from Grimoire of Gaia. Um, did I? Yes, I made a pickaxe. From that mod alone, I think, I don't even know how many mobs are added. I want to say over 20 mobs, but these, these mobs are, their models are so amazing. I did show a few of them in the trailer. Ooh, I hear a zombie. We must be getting close to a cave, which is good. We want to get to a cave. And I hear a bat. Ooh, okay, so we have some new ore here i don't know if i can oh yes i can i can get it with this one okay cool so we have our first shard it's an earth shard from thomcraft awesome okay so i'm gonna put that aside let's get our pickaxe just mining today hope you guys don't mind um next episode actually before i'm just gonna try to get some minerals survive the night then um i'm gonna work a little bit on my house before we start the next episode kind of similar to how we did uh the previous first episode of minecraft oasis the first series um but i'm i'm excited for my house actually i don't i don't think i can mind this okay cool so i think we're coming across i hear some running water i hear bats we must be getting close to a cave so this is this is good we can find some ores explore a little bit there are some mobs oh i think you know what just a warning guys when i talk and i play games i get super distracted very easily so sometimes i'll forget to go back to something i was talking about <laughs> please forgive me i'm just excited um so like i was saying the grimori of gaia um adds a lot of different mobs and the cool thing about that is um the mobs are different difficulties. So they come in, they range from one, two, and three. So obviously the ones from one, yay, our cave. The one from one, oh, a mine shaft. How cool, awesome. All right, so the monsters uh, ranging from level one are easy, easy or not completely easy. And then the ones uh, level three, as you progress in numbers, they progress in difficulty, so. Awesome. Oh, hello, little bat. Hi. Uh, okay. So, we found our first chest. Thorns, plenty of biomes, and bread. Yum, yum. Oh, you know what which reminds me? 
We, oh gosh, so many ores. We're gonna have to um, get a farm going. I always love, I always love the basics of Minecraft. I know that uh, at the end of series one, ooh, another chest. At the end of series one, um, whoa, infinity orb. What in the world? Oh gosh. All right, so here we go. Um, learning new things. <laughs> And exploring new things. I'm gonna try my best to, uh, ooh, a saddle. I'm gonna try my best to, uh, stay updated. Ooh, ours magical. Magic, magica, too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to stay updated on all the mods, but there are a ton of mods. There is a ton of info for me to learn. So I'm kind of gonna look, before I record each episode, I'm gonna look and try to teach myself a little bit about a particular mod. But if I don't know something about it, it's bound to happen. It's going to happen. Um, so, again, just just stay patient with me. If you know something, just tell me. Let me know. Okay, I can't mine this. So we need to find ourselves some iron. We already have a lot of train tracks, uh, though. I haven't seen any iron. This is cool. I have never ran into a mine shaft. What the heck was that noise? Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I hear noises. Oh, we ran out of torches. All right, so I'm gonna have to go. What the heck is that noise? Oh, it sounds like a weird, I don't know. I don't know what that sounds like. I don't even, okay, I ran out of torches. So I need to find my way back. Torches are always on the right. I always put torches on the left. No, I always put torches on the... What is that under there? Is that a monster? I have no idea what that is. Uh, let's go ahead and gather some more coal. Um, oh, well, mm, I don't want monsters coming through there. I'm just not even going to do it. Okay, so we're finding our way back. Here is that little bat that we ran into. This water is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to make some more torches. Oh, hey, I have wood with me. It's probably daylight. We should probably go back to the surface. We can explore this a little more. I don't want to go too deep into this. Oh, here we go. You know what? Let me just put a torch on this side. So nothing creepy is around here when we first come down. What is that over there? This is kind of rare, guys. I've never found... Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. I've never found a mineshaft um, on the very first episode. I don't really know how rare they are. Wait. Did I do that? Did I really destroy those blocks this way? I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, yeah, that's never happened to me. But it's cool. We can explore. We have a lot of exploring to do. A lot of minerals to collect. I need to find iron, though. So it is daytime, though. So I'm going to go and go on the surface a little bit. Um, I have some melon seeds. I have to eat some bread. I need to replenish. Let's see. Bread gives me three hunger. And I believe cooked steak gives me four. So I'm going to eat this one so it can get me full. Ah! Oh, I'm missing one. Dang it! I won't regen unless... Well, you know what? I don't need to regen. We'll just eat something when we're... We're hungry. Okay. Um, Alright, so I need to really find some iron. I need to go out and collect some more wood. Hopefully there's no monsters up here. Alright, so let's collect some more wood. I'm gonna not try not to leave any floating trees. I feel like... Um, oh. You coming at me? Coming at me, bro? Get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Oh, look, this one said his undies. <laughs> Put some clothes on, zombie. Don't stay in your undies. It's like a bad dream. He forgot to put his pants on. Um, okay. I, th I feel like it's better mining with my hand until I get the... Uh, until I get the iron pickaxe, then our timber mod will really become an effect. Once we get that. Okay, zombie incoming. You can't touch me. You can't touch this. Back it up. Back it up. I'm too tall for you. Um, but yeah. Super excited. I'm gonna make my treehouse. Next episode before I start, this is what I was talking about. 
so many things I probably touched base on and didn't finish talking about. Um, I am going to live in a tree. I've, I'm really excited because I've never lived in a tree for a Minecraft series. I have had a couple tree houses here and there, but I've never actually had a tree as my legitimate home. And this is going to be such an awesome tree. Uh, it's going to have different levels. I'm also going to have, since I have the butterfly mania, which is, oh my gosh, wow, they really started to uh, pile up down there, didn't they? Um, I am going to have different levels with different things. So like for Ars Magica, there's a bunch of cool things. For the witchery mod, there's a bunch of like cool um, aesthetic things that, j that have purpose, but um, look cool. Jesus, four zombies, really? Look cool just uh, for decoration. So I'm excited for that. I'm also going to have a butterfly garden uh, and go out and collect some butterflies. Uh, butterfly mania is something that I have. I remember the very first Minecraft series that I ever started. I had a mod similar to it where you can go out and collect butterflies um, and you can frame them and there are different rarities of the butterflies. So this is something just like that. And I am so excited for that. I'm already level 10. I'm already level 10. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I already have my little mining area. I should probably, let's do this. Let's make some more torches. This is what I'm going to do. This area underneath here is super duper dark. Um, and this is this is where I'm gonna make my home. So I'm gonna just put some torches all along these trees here. I do have a torch in there. This is the waterfall that I came from. So let's actually put um, torches all along here. So we can light up this area so no monsters will spawn down here because it'll get very dangerous. If I don't have this area lit up, is this... Oh, this is water. I call this the weeping tree because the waterfall came from a tree. And um, I don't know why the tree is crying, but it definitely found me. So this is how I uh, came into, into the enchanted oasis. All right, so I'm going to just put some more torches all around, light up this area. We don't want any monsters spawning here. This is going to be my home and I'm going to be building here. So, uh, and I really want to keep the foresty feel. I want to be hidden. I want to be in the, a woodland creature. Um, so we're going to try to keep that, uh, keep that true. Ooh, it's kind of cool to maybe do like a twirl, like a little twirly twirly effect, you know what I'm saying? Twirl the uh, things around the trees. I want to have, definitely when I go into the nether, I want to have, um, uh, what is it? Glowstone hanging from the trees. Okay, so it looks like the sun may be going down again. It feels like the sun goes down super early in here because it's really, really dark. So we got to make sure to light everything up. So I don't get hurt while I'm building my home. But yeah, I'm going to do some building. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, danger. I'm going to do some building offline. Um, this isn't going to be a complete, complete, complete let's play because sometimes I do feel like it gets a little dull at times. Not not everyone wants to see my mining for, for the, throughout this whole playthrough. And uh, I want to try and keep the series as alive as we possibly can. So I will uh, do some mining off camera. I will do some building off camera. But um, everything that I feel like is uh, important that you guys would want to see, I'm going to try to keep that on camera. And I will keep some building. I will keep some mining. It is Minecraft after all. You know, got to show some of it. Um, but it's going to be very similar to um, my original Oasis series, um, but hopefully better. <laughs> hopefully better. I was actually really uh, scared. Uh, I was nervous, super nervous starting this, and I was super nervous ending the very first season of Oasis. 
uh, because it was so successful and uh, I, I really want to live up to that and create something amazing for you guys and for myself. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Couldn't wait to start recording this. I, I could not believe how nervous I was, but we got those butterflies out. We are getting started and the first episode is pretty much done. So um, I'm going to go in my little safe mining area here because the sun is setting and we're going to go ahead and wrap this first episode up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, leave all of your comments and suggestions below. What are you most excited for? Which mod are you most excited for me to dive into? We can dive into this together. I, again, am super excited for Ars Magica just because I've never played it before. Um, but I'm just really excited for this whole series. And yeah, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are all so very excited. Also, before I end this, I want to say that I am going to be putting fan art up at the end of every single episode um, because I really loved that interaction that I had with you guys um, in the original Minecraft Oasis series. So if you would like to submit any of your fan art, you can tag it uh, on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag CQ art, or you can go to the Facebook fan page and submit your artwork there. So I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys are excited. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. My name is Cupquake, and I will see you all later. Bye.